Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the Instructional Technology Coach for the Peekskill City School District. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to input grades and comments for your report cards. The first thing we're going to do is head over to our gradebook. Seeing as I am in the new view of Infinite Campus, I will locate that by first clicking on Instruction and then clicking on Gradebook. Once the gradebook has loaded, you will see a few distinct differences now that the report card window has been opened. First, at the top of the window, we will see options for the term, which in this case is going to be quarter two, our section, which is our eight north period one science class, and also the task that we are trying to complete, which in this case is report card grades. Underneath that, we will see the posted section where we are going to fill in the percent, the grade, and report card comments for each student. And next to that, we will see the in progress menu where we can see the percent and posted grade of the students over here. The goal here is to have a percent, a grade, and a report card comment for each of our students in the class. To input grades and percentages, we're going to use a shortcut built right into Infinite Campus. And that is going to be to click on the red button that says Post. When we click on this button, a window will appear from the right hand side where we can confirm the quarter. We can confirm that we are trying to input report card grades. And we will also see a list of all the students in our current class. We can go ahead and click on OK. We can click OK a second time and a third time. What happened here is Infinite Campus tried to pull over the percent and the rounded grade for all of our students. If we look at our first student here in the first row, we can see that the percent of 98.33 has copied over successfully and the rounded grade of a 98 has also been moved over correctly. As we look at the second row, we can see that the percentage was copied over successfully, but the actual post grade was not. And we can go ahead and click on the grade area here. We'll see a little drop down shows up. And if we click on that drop down, we can see all the different options we have to put in a report card grade. Now, Notice that the grade is a 62.59, which would round to a 63. That's not one of the options in this list, which is the reason why that field was left blank. Infinite Campus isn't sure what grade you'd actually like to put, so it doesn't put anything and it lets you choose. In this example, let's say we were going to round the student's grade up to a 65. In that case, we could now select a grade of a 65. And because the grade is going to be a 65, here we are also going to change that percent to a 65 to match. So again, if the grade, like in the first one, was a 98 and everything is okay, we will leave the percent of a 98.33. If we had to manually change the grade for some reason, then we can update the percent to match that grade. The reason for that is the percentage is used to calculate things like our valedictorian, salutatorian, and class rank. In the next few columns, everything looks like it's matching up, so we can leave those all the same. And next, we have another grade of a 62.8. Again, that would round to a 63. So in this case, again, we could maybe round up to a 65 and we would update the percentage to match a 65. If there is a case where we have to, say, give a student a 55, uh, maybe this student here has a 53.3. If we go ahead and look at the drop down, maybe we are going to give this student a 55. Again, this is an instance where we would match the percentage up with that same 55. Here we have a 59. If a 60 is a valid grade, we could go ahead and match up 
that with a 60. Do keep in mind that you want to stay up to date with the advice and the guidance that your administrators are sending out. What grades are considered valid can change at any time. So the examples that I'm giving here are just that, examples, and make sure to consult your administrators or grade team leaders um, if you're unsure about any grade and whether or not they are valid. In this last example here, I'm going to give the student a grade of a 55, and I'm going to match the percentage. And now we can see that all of our students now have percents and grades with the exception of those students that are shown in red. So now, while we're working, a great practice is to make sure you are saving your work. So here you will see a button that says save. The letters of save are red, meaning that there have been some changes made. Once we go ahead and click on save, we will see that the word now changes to gray, meaning everything is up to date and saved. The next thing we have to do is input some report card comments for our students. So we can go ahead and click on this field. We can click on the CC to add a canned comment. And we will see another window appear from the right hand side. This has a list of all sorts of comments that are preset. You have some English comments and then down below you also have some comments written in Spanish. If I wanted to tell this student to come for extra help, I can go ahead and click on that checkbox and it will be added to the report card comment preview. If I needed to click on multiple comments, I can go ahead and do that. They will be separated by a period and then I can go ahead and click save. If I wanted to add comments for the next student, I can click on the same button. And if I needed to type some comments, for example, um, needs to study more frequently, I could type a comment. And then I also have the ability to check on comments, and they will just be appended to the end of that comment. If I need to clear my comments, I can do that by clicking clear. And if you already know the numbers of the comments that you wish to use, for example, maybe I need to use comment 1, 5, and 7. I can go ahead and type in 1, 5, 7. And when I click on Add, you'll see that all of those comments have been checked off. This can save you a lot of time if you know what comments you want to use, but you don't want to necessarily scroll and select them each and every time. Once we're done here, we can go ahead and click Save. The last feature I want to show is there is an option to fill comments. So if I go ahead and click on fill, this will now apply to multiple students. So we are going to right here apply this to all students. And maybe we want to say um, read while at home. This is a generic comment that regardless of the student's grade, maybe everyone should read a little bit more while at home. If I go ahead and click fill, this will say all students with active tasks will be updated. I can click OK. And now that comment has been auto-filled in for all of the students. The important thing to note here is for the first two students that I wrote comments for already, this will overwrite any comments that I have already put in. So if you want to add a comment for all of your students, it's best practice to fill in that comment for all students first, and then you can click on the comments button, and you can go ahead and add additional comments afterwards. Once you're completely done with your percentages, your grades, and your report card comments, once again, you will click on Save and you have now submitted your report card grades. You will continue this process for all of the classes that you have assigned to you, and that is it. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching.